Hello everyone, and so welcome back to some more My Time at Portia. So, we have Gail right here. A talking yeah. rat? <laughs> That's a grand tale. But, but then again, uh, there are strange tales about the monsters from the periphery, so I'm not surprised. But the good news is that the goo's all gone, so thank you for your work. Let me give you some compensation. Oh, well, sweets. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, my son Gust is nothing like me. Yep, we, we know. But anyway, guys, I have a few things on my list of stuff to do today. How are we doing on money? <gasps> we can expand. <gasps> oh, this is so exciting. I'm actually uh, probably going to be recording this episode throughout multiple days in real life time. Uh, mainly, she's so cute. I love her. Uh, mainly just because, like, I have a few exams this this week, and just, like, um, the biggest event for my workplace is going on this weekend, so I'm, I'm essentially working 10 hours every single day this weekend, which is, like, you're like, oh my god, Jesse, that sounds so crazy, like, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, it's, like, it is an incredible event. Um, whenever I'm not working this job anymore, which should be, like, as soon as I graduate in, like, two years, because I'm... A senior next year and then like getting my master's. Is this done? No. This has oh it's the wrong season. Well, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take that out now, I guess. <laughs> but uh, then I can tell you guys all about this job and I'm super excited about that. But yeah, it's essentially I'm pumped for uh, this week. Oh my god, look at this. Look how much room we get. <gasps> oh, this is fun. This is really nice actually. I thought we could expand it even more. If I'm not crazy. Because I thought one of you guys said that, like, the next expansion was, like, $100,000 or something. And I'm like, oh my god, that is crazy. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, not entirely sure. But, oh, there it is. Okay, I was looking for the for sale sign again. I guess we expand this way. How much? 30000 Okay, well, that's, that's a little pricey. I'm not scared. Um, that's definitely not <laughs> fear. Uh, but yeah, I need to go get $10,000 more just to just to expand the house, which is fine. I made it a second uh, one of these guys. Don't know why I did, but I did. Uh, let's see. So I accepted a request to make 15 leathers today. Fur and plant fiber. Okay. Um, also, I upgraded some of my chests as well. So that should be good for that. Okay, that should be fur and then plant fibers. We only have nine plant fibers? What? Oh, wait, this isn't fur. This is for. Why do we only have nine? Huh. Oh, I probably sold all of them. I was probably like, yeah, we don't need any of these. Is this. I don't even have any in here either. Wow. Well, that's weird. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to essentially be making money over the next few days, so I'll be back when something eventful happens, honestly. Because until then, it's just going to be me, uh, me doing this stuff. Did I get plant fibers from that? I do. Okay, cool. Yep, this is gonna be me for the next, uh, lord knows how many IRL hours. But, like, I enjoy this. It's just really, really relaxing. Especially, like, having a stressful week a little bit with, like, exams and stuff. Just be able to play this game and just be able to get video guys- or video guys- videos out for you guys. There we go, if I can sentence properly. Um, it just makes it- I don't know. It makes life a lot- a lot better and a lot less stressful. But anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye! So, Emily sent us some mail today saying, uh, Jess, the watermelons are in our farm are ripe. Come and pick some. Huh. Huh. Uh, okay. okay. Not sure if that's code for something. Um, but that's fine. That's fair. Also, I'm just gonna make some more leathers since we're just chilling with this and then add a power stone because why not but yeah i also moved some stuff around the farm so we got some things planted over here how are uh these guys are doing good could use oh could use a lot of fertilizer on the last few rows i don't know if farming's actually worth it in this game mainly just because like i don't know it seems like it doesn't sell for really anything but uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see. Uh, maybe we cook it when we get a bigger house. But until then, oh, these must be the watermelons. Hi, Hi Emily. The watermelons at my farm are ripe. Let's pick some. I'm sure they'll taste great. Thank you, but I got other things to do. Sure. Mission start. Oh my god. The melons here are all ripe. But leave that big one alone. I call it Mr. Melon. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we'll leave Mr. Melon alone. 
Uh, oh, okay, voice acting is no more. Okay, uh, huh, how come? Mr. Mellon is my candidate for the Autumn Festival this year. At the rate it's growing, I have a decent chance of winning. Oh, you're so cute. You have a competition for the Autumn Festival? I love how we talk telepathically, because our lips do not move. Yeah, for the Autumn Festival, it's tradition here to do a town fair where pretty much everyone shows up. There's lots of food, dancing, music, and fun. At the center of it is the best bounty contest, where tons of people bring out their best harvest of the year. Yay! Ever since I moved to my granny's ranch, I've participated in the competition every year. Never won. Aww. I've always wanted to win that prize. Can you imagine? There's an escaped chicken it? over here. Oh I'd no, be there it so goes. So happy! You should enter as well, just for fun. We can go together this year. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's hurry up and pick the melons. I feel like she's kind of hitting on me. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. Um, also, can I keep these melons? Cause like I need money. So. That should be enough. Let's chow. Oh no, we're Tell eating them. So. Gosh darn it. Tastes super great, right? It's like a cool breeze in the summer. Aww. Yeah, this tastes really sweet. I might not grow the biggest melon, but when it comes to sweetness, I'm more confident. It's not the size that matters. Don't worry. Mr. Melon is the biggest melon I've ever seen. I'm sure it'll win. I sure hope so. Well, I'm happy to hang out more, but it's time to take care of the farm. See ya! Bye, Emily! Oh, bye, Emily. You're the best, Emily. Um, can I actually give you one? <clears throat> Sorry, can I actually give her one of the eggs? I can. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's nice to know. Also, I kind of want to pick Mr. Melon and just have a better chance of winning. Oh, it's an escaped duck. Oh my god, oh, I can't put it down. Ah! <laughs> there, we fixed it. Oh, there's an escaped chicken over here, too. Oh my god. Okay, just, just helping out the farm a little bit. But I actually need to go buy fertilizer. Fertilizer seems, like, really expensive. And if the crops don't sell for a lot, I don't know if it's really worth it. Maybe when we have a ton of money, it'll be worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell back. Oh, well, if they only sell for $1, I'm gonna keep them. Uh, Yeah, let's just... Let's go ahead and buy... Six. Oh god, that's so pricey. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm doing like a lot of town commissions um, coming up, so that should hopefully rake into money. I might go into the dungeon and stuff and just kind of like do some of that because that tends to earn quite a bit of money as well. Actually, we're going to go up here and go to the tree farm. But anyway, guys, just kind of want to show you that little cutscene since we have it, and I'm going to get back to doing some grindy grind. And uh, oh, look, all the marbles are ready. Yay, I can make totems. Fun, fun. Okay, I'll be back. So, uh, sorry I didn't record that whole thing, um, I wasn't recording at all, <laughs> but apparently something crashed over in the collapsed wasteland and I should check it out, which is interesting, um, I guess I'll go right on ahead and do that, I was just gonna kind of turn in some stuff real quick, skincare is a basic um, yes I know skincare is a basic right. <laughs> Okay, there's one here that I wanted to do. It's like, oh, well, that wouldn't be bad to do. Um, there's something about, oh my god, they changed it. No. Oh, I'm sad now. There was a request for like two bridge heads and it was just like really cheap. And, oh, dang it. Like it was cheap to make this stuff because I already had everything, but like I already accepted my request for the day. So that stinks. Well, let's... Okay, what pays the most? This pays the most, but I don't really want to make sprinklers. Eh. This one isn't bad. Um, I can go ahead and do this one. Ugh. Wait, can I actually accept two at one time? Because that would be really great. Because I can... Dang it! Game! <laughs> I'm salty. Okay, well, uh, where is the Collapse of Wasteland, by the way? I'm not entirely sure where that is. Um, I assume it's somewhere over here? But, uh, huh. Okay, craft the- I've crafted these. I don't know why they're- Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go- find that and do a few more things okay I guess we're not gonna get uh, voice acting for this that's fine so what the heck was that are we under attack I saw a fur <laughs> oh my god I saw it fall from the sky it was scary 
Can you at least tell us what it is? This is big news. I'm telling you, it's aliens. It, uh, this must be fully investigated. Calm down, everyone. We're on top of this. Arlo and Remington are at the crash site right now. We'll let you know what it is as soon as we find out. Okay. Uh, ah, there you are. What's the word? Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't see who said that. I just... Uh, anyway. Uh, it appears to be a relic of some sort. Relic? Really? Aliens? But we have a problem. We need... Ah, you, a builder. We need your help. What's wrong? The relic knocked over a tower and created a giant hole in the ground. Some monsters came out as a result. I measured it to be about four or five meters. We need to patch right away. Give us something quick. Sam, don't let anyone in until the hole's uh, plugged. Me and Arlo are going to clear out some more monsters in the meantime. Got it. Okay, cool. So what do we need? We need a welding rod and some steel plates. Do I have those? I might have the steel plates. The welding rods, I'm not sure, come to think of it. But uh, let's just go check. Also, I've moved stuff over quite a bit. Um, I think I showed that in the last clip, though. Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, so it might be in loot for the both of these. Okay, so we got one steel plate. And these are not that. Uh, rusty iron pipe. This is a valve, uh, do, 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 do. hmm, I'm just gonna go one by one, just to make sure I'm not gonna skip over it real quick. Yeah, I don't think we have, we don't have a welding pipe. I wonder if we have to make it, actually, come to think of it. Uh, let me see, let me see. Let's see, welding pipe, welding pipe, welding pipe, uh, no. Mm-hmm, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, no, welding rod. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, welding rod. Um, three tin ore, one copper ore. Okay, that's not a problem. Let me just make sure I don't already have some because I feel like I might. But I doubt it. Also, I can go ahead and do this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take this, this, and where's my iron? There it is. Cool beans. Okay, and I'll make the four welding rods real quick. Do, do, do where you be okay one two three four yay okay <laughs> go over here and uh let's see charcoal times ten wait what do we need for this oh iron and charcoal okay well i have charcoal i don't know why i got the other stuff uh let's put this back and the tin back uh did i put it in here yes charcoal there we go oh boy i'm very disorganized today I don't know why, I've been like really, really tired this past week, so maybe that could have something to do with it. But uh, we can, yeah, we can make three over here. Cool beans. So I guess those are just going to go ahead and do their thing. I can't really do much else, but uh, I'll come back as soon as I have the stuff to uh, patch that hole. Okay, finally got everything we need for that one quest, so let's go ahead and see uh, what happens when we turn it all in. So hey Sam, how you doing? Um, can Yo, I just look and chat with you about this? No, we're not who I'm supposed to talk to. Uh, who am I supposed to talk to? Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> uh, let us see. Oh, we're, oh, we're supposed to go all the way over there. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the shuttle over. I don't really feel like walking it. So I'll just go all the way up here. Yep. Sounds good. And I have enough money to get the house. Finally. I have been just playing really hard. I guess I can take my hat off now. I don't really... Eh, I better keep it on because it gives you about 100 HP. And I'm sitting kind of low on that. And I have nothing to heal myself with. So we're just going to keep it on. Also, I need to go up here. I don't know why I was heading down. Oh! Okay. Yeah, that looks bad. Yeah, I can see why uh, Why they want us to patch that up. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to hop up this. Oh, my God. Look at him. Look at Arlo go. Arlo! Do you need help? No? Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this looks bad. Ugh, I didn't want to fight. I'm so low on HP. Oh no. Why are you making me do this? Oh my god. Oh, just a blur. Just a bad blur of things. Oh no. Okay, cool. Uh, yo, why? Oh my god, why are there so many? Oh, it's, it's lagging something fierce. I cannot keep up with this. <laughs> 
<laughs> this fight is too much for it. Also, why are things spawning? Oh, I need to fix it. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that took me for also voice crack. That took me far too long. Oh, no voice acting. Okay, Arlo. I was having a great day too. Uh, the, mm, yep, just <laughs> gonna let you guys read that because I can't even read it fast enough. Oh, no. Oh, it's a robot. Hi, bud. You're in the loading screen. Mr. Robot Cook. Oh, my God. Uh, holy moly. It's a robot. It is a robot. Uh, how rude. The name is Ack. Ack. Ack? Uh, no, it's Ack. Clack Ack? What the? Who are you exactly, Ackbot? What is this? I'm the chef of my space station, a piece which is right here. Um, space station? Jeepers Creepers. Oh, this isn't Scooby-Doo. I'm on the ground. How the heck did I get here? You fell from the sky. You don't say. Ack. Whoa there, don't move, okay? I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. Uh, we gotta show him to the mayor. Yeah, we should. I'll go grab him. Come along, Jess. Okay. It's a little... Okay, not even gonna... Oh, hey, look! We got a new dungeon. Oh, no, wait. That's civil corpse. I'm stupid. Okay, we're all good. Um, hopefully... I was gonna say if the house place isn't uh, closed just yet, but... Looks like it might be. We'll just go back into the civil corpse. We'll do what the game wants us to do. I'm okay with that. Hi, Zoo. I don't think I've talked to you today, actually. Let me just go ahead and get that friend point well, benefits. Okay, and uh, you as well. Hello. Okay, time to go back into the civil corpse now. I don't know why my game's been lagging. Steam actually told me I had an issue, like, whenever I was starting it. So, I don't know. Oh, look, plus ten. Eh. You can't arrest me. I know my rights. Now, now, please calm down, Mr. Ack. We're just trying to sort out this situation. You unexpectedly dropped in on us, after all. <laughs> um, anyhow, I take it that you were on the Alti Altier uh, One space station for the duration of the last 300 years. Am I correct? I'm not saying anything until I see my lawyer. Fascinating. Why are we even talking to this thing? Look, Mr. Ack, the sooner you show us you're not a threat, the better off it is for all of us. Well, call me a pancake, but I'm a chef. <laughs> okay. How am I a threat? And to answer your question, I was in maintenance mode for the last three hundred... Oh, uh, yep. Uh, when I woke up, I was here. So you're not an assassin sent from Duvos. Look, old Muzir. Uh, I know not what Duvos is, and even if I did, why would I tell you? You have a point. What should we do with him? Uh, get rid of it right now. We don't know exactly what it'll do. Remember that dancing robot in uh, Ethia? I say we let him stay at the research center. We'll take responsibility for him. He's a treasure trove to be explored. You dare. You put, you're putting everyone's lives on the line. He's a living AI. There aren't too many like him here in the free cities. You know I can hear you. Don't you care uh, to know what I want? Go on. I'd say release me, but I know you're not going to do that. So I want a glass of milk. Okay. That can be arranged. And I want to know what happened to my crewmates. Arlo? We checked the crash station. Your crewmates didn't make it. They died hundreds of years ago. Sorry. Oh. Mr. Ack, I'm so sorry for your loss. For now, I need you to cooperate and stay here until we figure out what your options are. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, <laughs> Random feels. Also, Jess, since you're here, uh, see if you can do something about Mr. Ack's leg and head. Make him as comfortable as you can. Sure thing. Oh yay! Hi, Ack. What all do you need to be I'm fixed? Searching the hazardous room. Okay, so he needs to talk with Ack. I'm, I want to talk with Ack. Okay, there we go. Life is hard, then you die. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, Mr. Ack, do you want me to fix your leg and head wounds? What's the point? Oh, my dear Laura. Hallelujah. Mr. Ack seems down. Maybe a glass of milk will cheer him up. Yo, I don't know where to give... Oh, I guess Sophie's ranch. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna go home and sleep and then upgrade the house. And then we can work on his stuff here in a bit. So I will be right back. Okay, I seriously don't know what this game's problem is. Like, it, it fits in the grid. I literally took down all my furniture. I... <laughs> I don't know what the- I guess I have to expand my land like one more time, but I don't- Will it expand that way? Do you 
you think? Because that's the only way that they're going to let me build this house. Because I have nothing blocking this. Unless it's my workshop, unless they're like, oh, hey, your workshop's in a way. I wish I could, I wish I would tell me what's blocking it, but like, I can't move my workbench. Yeah, I don't know what... Game... <laughs> listen, listen, game, you're kind of driving me up the wall just a smidge. Yeah, I don't know... Are something's in the way, or... <sighs> yeah, I want to exit. I think the only thing that's in the way is a workbench. But, like, you can't physically move it. Hold on. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google it and see see what happens. Because I'm starting to get a little bit angry at this point. Because it's like... Okay, so... I really love this game. I do. I just... Like, this... I can't... There's not even, like, an option to even remotely break this workbench. I don't... I'm gonna Google it. Okay, so apparently... <laughs> After some long-winded uh, research, aka like five minutes of just googling, yo, help me. Um, I found out that you can actually move the workbench, but you have to do it through the construction building. You can't just like use your axe, which like in a way makes sense because it's such an important feature. They're like, okay, we don't want you to just move it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna move this. Okay, and we're gonna move this guy way over here in Bufu, Egypt. Okay, cool. And now, <laughs> and now, please, I beg you, game. Oh, thank God. Yes. Yay. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. I'm just relieved. I'm just really, really freaking relieved. I wonder if it, like, was an instant build or if it's going to take a bit. I guess we can see here as we round the corner. <gasps> it's done. Oh, my queen. Look at it. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a legitimate home now. Oh, can we put things in this? Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay, let me go inside. I wonder if there's a place for a cat. That would be super nice. Whoa. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, we get a kitchen? Oh, our bed's in the kitchen. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, we're not all perfect. Oh, dang, that is amazing. Let's go ahead and place some of the furniture we have down here. Just to, just to celebrate. Just to kind of, like, embrace the new life that we have started. I'll go ahead and do this. And then this. Okay, that's sadly all the furniture that we own. But, um, I say we put the washing machine maybe, like, right next to the bedroom kind of thing. Kind of situation. Can I not rotate this? Uh, maybe we'll just put it against... Against... Can it... <laughs> okay, I forgot how you rotate things. Uh, um, oh, this is bad. Wait, maybe if I go this way, I can, yeah, there, it's, yep, it's something, definitely not nothing. Okay, we'll put the clock, like, right by the door, just so as we leave, we're like, oh, okay, this is what time, we'll put the clock maybe on this wall, so we can leave and be like, oh, that's the time that it is. Um, our building certificate right here, so we would be very proud of the work that we've accomplished. And maybe add, like, our windmill picture right here. And maybe we want to listen to some sweet tunes before bed. Um, we can put it right not here. Not... <sighs> Yay. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, after that long-winded episode, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Uh, good lord. And the next episode, we'll fix, uh, our lovely new chef robot. Hopefully you can move in with us, because that would be super awesome. I doubt it, though, but just a small hope of mine. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. And until then, bye!